Good morning. Okay, we've got lots and lots of exciting things to have a look at today. But first, I think we need to sing the hello song. So get your big voices ready and get, let's get ready to join in. Okay, I want to hear your best singing. Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? Hello everyone, how are you? How are you today? Good morning, that was fantastic singing. Okay, now today it's our maths day and in maths so far we've been doing lots and lots of singing our number rhymes to five, haven't we? And you are fantastic at counting up to five. You're brilliant at getting your numbers now so I thought it was time to do something a little bit different and have a change. So we're going to do some shape and size today. Can you say those words? Shape and size. So when we're talking about shape, we're talking about different objects and what they look like. Are they round? Are they smooth? Are they pointy? Do they have corners? Are they straight? Do they have straight sides? How many sides? There's loads of things we can talk about when we're looking at shapes. And then we can think about the size as well because we can think about really big ones. We can think about middle sized ones and we can think about teeny weeny ones, small ones. So there's lots of things we can talk about today. But the thing I would like you to do first is I want you to go and find your grown up. So if there's a grown up with you somewhere, I want you to come here, go and get them and say, come on, because Sam wants you to come and listen. So go and find your grown up and make sure they're sitting down ready to listen. Now, boys and girls, you are fantastic at listening, aren't you? And we always wear our listening ears when it's our learning time at nursery. So I just want you to have a look at your grown up and I want you to see if you can find their listening ears and give them a wiggle and say, are you ready? Have you got your listening ears on? Are you ready to listen? Okay. Are the grown ups ready to listen now as well? Ah, oh, brilliant. Well done. Well done, boys and girls. So we're looking at shape and size today. Now, children mainly learn through play, okay? And that's not just in nursery school and reception. Even big children, they, like, they learn best through play because the best way to learn something is through exploring and investigating, asking questions, getting things a bit wrong sometimes and learning from that as well. And when we learn things independently by exploring and investigating, it helps us remember them much better. And then that's a good way of learning things. Okay. And lots of children, especially young children, need a grown up near them when they're playing to ask questions and to prompt them when they're learning. And then also to introduce new vocabulary as well. So introducing new words like corners and sides and big and small. And that helps children learn as well. And that's what we do in nursery and reception is we've all, we're always there alongside children when they're learning to introduce those new words, but also to ask questions and to deepen their learning a little bit more and just make them think a bit more about what they're doing. Okay. So one of the really good examples to show you about learning through play is by using shape and size. Okay. So we're going to have a look at shape today. And one of the children's favourite things to learn about shape are lollipop sticks and we have a collection of special sticky lollipop sticks in nursery school and they have velcro on each side so you might have some lollipop sticks at home and i know that you're not going to have velcro at home and that's perfectly fine but these are what we use at nursery school and they, they are the children's favorite thing so if you don't have anything fancy like we do in school, that's absolutely fine because there's loads and loads of things that you probably do have at home that you can use. So I've just been on a shape hunt of my own around my house this morning and I found lots and lots of things that we can use to investigate shapes. So you might have some lollipop sticks. They don't have to have Velcro on, just normal lollipop sticks. You will probably have some straws. So I found some straws in my cupboard this morning. We always have straws at my house. So you might have some straws, 
You might also have pipe cleaners. We've got a craft box at our house, so we always have pipe cleaners in the house as well. Pipe cleaners are really good because you can make them into any shape that you like and you can move it around. And because they're bendy, you can straighten them back out, but you can also keep them in that shape as well. So I'm going to make you a shape now. So boys and girls, are you watching? I want you to have a guess. See if you can see what shape Sam is making with the pipe cleaner. Are you ready? It's a stripey pipe cleaner, this one, isn't it? Black and white stripey pipe cleaner, right? Oh, it's not very good. Here we go. Right, what shape is that? So what shape has Sam made there? Can you tell me? Have a think. It's a, it's a circle. Well done. That's my circle. I wonder if we can draw a big, big circle in the sky. Get your Peter pointer ready like that. Hold it up at the top and we're going to draw a big circle. So we're going to go round in a big circle like that. Let's do it again. Peter pointer at the top and we're going to go round in a big circle, round and round and round. Fantastic, well done. I wonder if you've got any giant pencils. I've got, ooh, got my giant pencil there. Oh, this is really heavy. Have you got a giant pencil? I'm gonna ooh, lift my giant pencil up to the top and I'm gonna draw a big giant circle. I'm gonna go oh, round. And up to the top. Shall we do it again? <gasps> Round. Oof. And up to the top. I'm going to put that down because it's really heavy. Oh, wow. That's my giant pencil. I've also got a teeny weeny fairy pencil. Can you see? It's very small. Small pencil. I'm going to draw a small circle. Round and round and round. Like that. Well, can you do that? Small circle. Round and round. Well done. You could also draw one on your hand, round and round. Oh, I'm tickling. Very good. Well done. So we drew a really big circle and then we drew a very small circle. Brilliant. Well done. Now then, I'm going to show you another shape and this time I'm going to use the sticky lollipop sticks and I'm going to stick them together. Okay, I wonder if you can guess what shape Sam is going to make with the lollipop sticks. Let's have a look. Stick them together. Oh, it's got straight edges like that. It's a bit pointy, this shape as well. Look, it's it's got points, got corners. Let's have a look. Can you tell what shape has Sam made? Who can guess? What shape is it? It's a bit wonky donkey. What shape is it? It's a square. That's my square. Well done. That's Sam Square. I wonder if we can draw a square using our Peter Pointer like we did with the circle. Shall we have a go? Let's start. Let's start at the bottom. Are we ready? We need to go along the bottom and up. And along the top and then down again. Whoa, did you do that? Should we do it one more time? Along, up, along the top and down again. Wow, well done. Shall we pick up the giant pencils and do a giant one, a big one? Okay, you're ready. Get your muscles ready. Whew. Right, are we ready? Let's go along the bottom and up. Well, along the top. Oof. And down again. Can you do it again? Shall we draw another square? Ready? Go. Along the bottom. And up. And along the top. Oh, and down again. Wow. I'm going to put this down. Oof. Gosh, it's hurting my arms, that big giant pencil. Wow. Is yours heavy? Right, get your teeny weeny pencil ready. Teeny tiny. And we're going to draw a small square along the bottom. And up. And along the top and down. Well done. That was fantastic. Okay, now I also had a look around my house and Luna has got lots and lots of shape jigsaws and shape puzzles. So I pinched some of the wooden shapes and the plastic shapes from her shape jigsaw. Now, 
I'm going to use some Play-Doh now. Okay, now this is a big lump of Play-Doh. Who's been watching the Macmillan Lanks YouTube channel? Who joined in with Amanda making some Play-Doh? Because I did. I made some Play-Doh with Amanda. I thought it was fantastic. And I've still got it. I've been keeping it in the fridge in a box. And I've still got the Play-Doh. And it's our favourite thing to play with at home. So I'm going to roll out my Play-Doh. Let me move my cutters. I'm going to roll out my Play-Doh. Like this. So we put glitter in our Play-Doh. We didn't have any food colouring, but we did have glitter. So I'm going to roll out my Play-Doh with my rolling pin. And I'm going to make another shape. And I wonder if you can guess what shape Sam's going to make next. So we had a circle, didn't we? And we had a triangle. No, we didn't. We had a square. We had a circle and a square. I'm going to make my shape. It's pointy. Ooh, my Play-Doh shape. It's pointy and it's got straight edges. It's got three edges, but one, two, three. It's a t -t 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 triangle. Well done. If you guessed what shape it was, well done. That's fantastic. It's a t -t -t triangle. That's right. Shall we draw a big triangle? Are you ready? Get your Peter pointer ready. We're going to draw a big one. Along the bottom first, we go along the bottom and we go up to the middle and down. Wow, did you count how many sides? One, two, three, should we do it again? One, two, three. Three sides on our triangle. Should we do it with the giant pencil and draw a big triangle? <sighs> right, are you ready? Along the bottom, one, up to the middle, Ooh, two. And down again, three. Oh, should we do it one more time? Are you joining in? Oh, along the bottom, up to the middle, and down again. Oh, brilliant. They are mega triangles. Wow, fantastic. Right, should we draw a teeny weeny one? Get your tiny pencil ready, and we'll draw a small triangle. I wonder if you can draw one on your hand along the bottom, up to the middle and down again. Well done. Fantastic. You are really good at your shapes as well, aren't you? You're good at numbers and shapes. Wow. What clever boys and girls watching my videos. Okay. Now then, I wonder... If the grown-ups can help you have a look for some things to, le to learn about shapes around your house. So like I did this morning, I wonder if you can go on a shape hunt, find lots and lots of things around your house that are all different shapes. You might even have cookie cutters like me. I've got some love hearts. You can talk about different sizes. So big, medium and small. You can talk about the sides and the corners. And I want you to leave some comments, get mummies and daddies to leave comments below and tell me what sort of shapes have you been making? What have you been talking about? What did you find? Because you might tell me something new. You might share something new and exciting with me too that you've been doing. Okay, so have a go. Make lots and lots of different shapes using lots of different things.